Last time on Sea of Stars. To activate this giant, give it the name Extrum, to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extrum and speak this one's name, which is... Extrum, cool! Oh, girl! Well, hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to the Sea of Stars, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. In the last episode, we got here to the Moorlands after being yeeted, thanks to Garl. Uh, and hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely hope you like it. I, I hope you enjoy this game as much as I've been enjoying it so far. Uh, and more than that, I hope you enjoy my series, of course, and don't think I'm too cringe. Uh, and a huge shout out to those of you watching this video and all of the other ones in the premieres. I really appreciate it. It's so fun hanging out with you and getting to see, uh, you know, live reactions to things that are happening in the game and things that I'm doing in the series. So we're going to continue on. We got to the Moorlands. We're just going to jump into it and see what we can finish exploring here. Right away, we're going to fight some ants. I think the way, best way to deal with this is to focus the ants down. The ants are weak to magic, so we're going to try to see. There we go. Getting that timing right on that sunball. Thank you, Maedros, for reminding me that uh, everything has a timing in here, including that ability. We're just going to go ahead and finish this guy off, no problem. Zale's going to get the cleanup here. You'll love to see it. Those are weak to slashing, so uh, Zale is very good at dealing with them. Looks like we have another little thing over here that we can jump down into. That's going to be our first priority here, obviously. Let's do it. Nice. We have some mushrooms here that we can grab. Another little shortcut to jump down into. Doubt there's anything over here, but you never know. I need, I need all of it. I need all the items, friends. I, I need it. All right, so let's jump across, grab some more shrooms here. I love these shroom caves. Ooh, land right on some shrooms to see if we can, we were able to get an early boost. You'll love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Let's go ahead and see if we can, see. oh geez, all of them are summoning. Okay, that's scary. Let's, um, yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Let's go ahead and absorb. Actually, let's do this instead. We'll attack this guy. That that lock is now broken. And then uh, Valir can break this one. So unfortunately, we're going to get a summon regardless. There's not much I can do about that. I only had two turns and they were all summoning. Yikes. All right. So the way that we're going to handle this then is we're going to hurl maybe this one to go over into that area. Perfect. And then our boy Zale is going to sunball these. There we go, deleted. I was worried about this fight, but you know, actually, now after looking at it, I think we're gonna be a-okay. So we're gonna moon ring here and hopefully be able to finish off both of these ants, no problem. Woo! Messed that up, but we're still able to get a nice clean kill. Grab some more shrooms. We also got ant meat. <laughs> I, hey, what are you gonna do? Ooh, looks like we do have a chest down here, a nice reward for exploring. And inside we get a silver sword for our boy Zale that immediately is going to be equipped. That's awesome. Raising his attack to 24, his magic attack to 26. He does not have an accessory yet because we just simply don't have enough. We just don't, we just don't have any. We can't give him any. I guess that's all we can get down here. So uh, let's head back up to the top and see if we can figure our way out of the Moorlands. Moorlands. We have another one of these guys here. We'll see if we can, we are able to get an early boost, which is great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna eat this. This way we can hopefully... There we go, get rid of that. Unfortunately, it looks like we are gonna have to still get hit by the ram. That's okay, that's single target damage. I'll, I'll accept that. Rams be ramming. 
We got a nice block, though. Carl's gonna go ahead and bash a bit. Zale's gonna go ahead and just do a little boost on this guy. Deleting him. Getting a big boost so that we can finish off the ram. Just like that. Beautiful. 128 XP. That wasn't a bad fight at all, actually. Got some, some ram milk. What is this? Doesn't look like it's anything we can use just yet. Can't use any of our rewind power time stuff just yet either. Okay. We'll have to remember that there's a lot here in the Moorlands that feels like we have to go back to, but let's go ahead and grab my cabbages. It's lettuce, I know. We have little bits of water here we could go into. And right across is another chest with a rock laid for our boy Garl. Look at that, already getting another piece of equipment for him, bringing his attack, looks like it's the same stats. Requires a firm grip, plus four, plus two. Interesting. Okay, I mean, we'll we'll take it. From Zale to go back to his training sword. It's just weird that they the weapons seem to, I wonder if that's gonna be true for all the weapons, is they just have a flat attack and magic attack. Uh, you know, without offering anything else to them. Uh, very Final Fantasy 16 on on those weapons. But uh, we'll find out. Looks like we can't really go anywhere else here. So let's head inside. How's everybody doing? We're full MP, full heal. Oh, we're looking great. All right, let's, let's brawl. Okay, I'm a little worried about three of these guys. I gotta be honest with you. We're gonna go ahead though and sunball the one in the middle. Uh, yeah. I think that's our best bet here. Not able to break any of those, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna figure out... Yikes, I don't even know. Um, 16 health, 30 health. If we get a big moon ring, we could potentially kill them. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh, yikes. I think we'll be okay because we were full health. Missed that one. Got that though. Wow, okay. We'll take this guy out. If we weren't full health before that, I think this would have been a GG game over. All right. Woo. That was a little spicy, but... Spice... Uh, spi explodey? It was a little explodey? All right, how do we get up there? Because there's another chest. We need that chest. We, we need it. Continue forward and see if maybe the answer will appear before us. We do have some ants here. I'm a little worried about getting into any fights with anybody just because <laughs> it does feel like it would be relatively easy for us to die. Looks like we can actually go this way, grab some wheat, and maybe find a way to that chest. Grab some potatoes there. This is so cool though. Look how high up we are. We gotta be able to jump. Oh, yep. I knew it. Dope. We get a recipe for mushroom soup. All right, that's not, that's not quite what I wanted, but I, all right. We'll, um, okay, we'll, we'll, sure. We'll take that. Right, let's watch out for these ants. Let's see if we can run around real quick. Another passageway down here. I feel like that's probably the way we have to go. So let's continue. All oh, right, early boost. I love it. Oh, it's only the two ants. That's great. That means we can't. Oh, I'm one MP away from Sunball. Of course I am. All right, girl. That means you're Moon Ring. Finish it up. And easy peasy. No items or anything were dropped. What does this sign say? Stone Mason Outpost in Fishing Lake. Well, I guess. This is the way, okay. We went up there to get the thing. Look, someone's over there. 
<clears throat> oh my, these little surprise animations are so beautiful. We should ask for directions. She looks busy. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Hello. Is there something special about that big rock? Yes. Come look at this. It's... Ah. This looks like... Nah. Must be my imagination. Ahem. So what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These ruins are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least, what's left of them. No way! You're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you. My name's Garl. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teeks. So, are your friends always this quiet? Uh... <laughs> yeah! Nah, Zale and Valir are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. <gasps> huh? Magic hair. Enchanted cloth pieces. <gasps> oh my god! Your solstice warriors! We... I knew it! Oh, adventurous spirits, fearsome in battle, fated to unravel mysteries, unnoted encounter, countless forgotten artifacts, a traveling historian's best friends. Oh, wow. I mean... <clears throat> well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey, guys. Teak has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? Um, I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Uh, why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well, don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. I, okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. This is so cute. Thanks again for the food, girl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So you're the very last traveling historian. At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore Grimoire, Grimoire, Grim, 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 were burned. The what now? Lore Grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot? Well... You see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. <laughs> Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find, and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. <laughs> how many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Oh, heck yeah. Let's ask, uh, let's check in with our, 
our friends here. I didn't even know traveling historians were a thing. I wonder how many of them there used to be. Probably a lot. Garl? Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Okay. Well, let's see what Teeks has got to say. Hey, want to hear a story? Yeah. Which one? The Vespertine. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. We shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then, one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst mutinied, and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the Sea of Nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place, until only Hortense remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortense. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day, or but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the Sea of Nightmare. The end. Whoa. That was a cool story. I guess we can't do anything else. We just... Yeah. Do we do any... Do we do any... Do we do anything else? Can I do anything? Can I be like, hello? No? All right. Let's cook, because we ate some food. We can make mushroom soup now, which is good. I have bone. So I make I make mushroom soup, and it looks delicious. Good night, folks. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge, given the situation with the lift. Huh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? Uh, east of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Takes joins the cargo. Oh, that's cool. Obviously we can't, she's not a combat uh, party member, but she appears to be a party member of some kind. A tingling of ancient magic can be felt as if it had all but completely faded away over time. Huh. There's also a save point we could use, but we're actually going to just dip back this way because we did have the uh, lake here that we could uh, potentially fish in and we do want to do that. There are trophies and whatnot for getting all of the fish species. I wonder if this is going to take us, it does take us out to the world map, but we can't actually go, like we only have the moorlands, not, not even whatever this is here, and then the windy lock. I love the music that plays here. No merchant, though, which... Oh, we can... I didn't realize... Of course we can go swimming in the... I didn't do that in the first one. I wonder if there was anything there. I'm sure we'll find out. 
Oh, nothing behind a waterfall? You never know. We do have some taters and some wheat we can grab. Looks to be about all we can grab here in the lock. Well, let's do some fishing then, friends. We have two fish that are new here that we can get. All right, and remember, you wanna keep it in the overlay here that you see. And there we go, we got a new fish. This one is a grass haddock, which we are going to fillet. So these ones are about three golds. Looks like that was a lunar trout, which we already have, yep, it is. So we could release this one. And you know what? I think we are gonna fillet it. <laughs> and there's the third one. It is a hard shell. Let's go ahead and fillet it. And there is no benefit, by the way, uh, of releasing the fish once you once you actually reel them in. There's no benefit to releasing at all. So keep that in mind. I actually am not entirely sure why that option exists. And this will be the last fish in the entire windy lock. My bad. They've all gone extinct now because of me. And boom, there we go. It is worth doing this, even if you're not gonna use all of those fillets for fishing, or uh, for cooking. At least one, you need to catch them for, for this, just for completion's sake. But also, it's like one of the few sources of golds uh, that we can get very easily, right? All right, looks like that's all that we can do over here. So back to the Moorlands. Did you all see, see that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you played the demo, you saw this as well, but I guess this is why it's called Sleeper Island. There's a sleeping dragon there. That's so cool. All right, let's continue back through the through here. The, the ants and stuff have respawned. We're not going to worry about that right now. We don't need, we, like I said, we're, I'm trying to avoid XP. We just don't need, I mean, we need XP, but we just don't need it right now. I feel like, you know, maybe it's a good idea to save. I still feel like we're due for a boss fight anytime. But we still have not gotten an upgrade for Valir. We have gotten one for both Zale and, and Garl. Hopefully, we get one soon. See, this feels ominous. Ooh, yes, puzzles! All right, unable to get. Uh, we're gonna sunball. We're gonna sunball in on the ram here. Deleting the ants entirely, which is great. I can't wait until these enemies are not that hard because right now I'm like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like if you're not ready for these, they're gonna spank you real hard. Oh, come on. That wasn't 25. Oh, we had to defeat them to make the puzzle rise. Okay, or the, the crystal anyways. Well, obviously we need to shift the time of day here. Let's run a little bit further this way, just out of curiosity. See if there's anything. Okay, maybe. Looks like there is an enemy here. We can go bonk him. Wait. This is the life. Mountains are nice. Wait, is this? Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. Oh my god! That's another Chrono Trigger reference, y'all. Oh, that's amazing. This is the life. Okay, he won't give us anything. That's so great. All right, so we can go ahead and grab some berries off those bushes. Great Chrono Trigger. Great Chrono Trigger reference. I remember that guy. There's like an enemy in the mountains that would be like, ah, oh, man, you're nosy. Here, take this. 
I wonder if we need to light all three of them up. Yes, we do. And look at that. We get a scroll. Zale and Garl learned combo skill Solar Rain. All right. That's cool. Solar Rain, sun damage that hits all enemies. Well, that's going to be fun to use. Is that better than Mending Light? Probably not. No. So I'm wondering if we switch to Knights, if anything changes for us by doing that. Besides the game just looking absolutely stunningly beautiful. Like, I wonder if the person, the the monster, the wanderer that's up here probably doesn't do anything new. Yeah. Worth checking. Let's see. And I love how beautiful, like, the backgrounds that they've built add so much. Like, it's just very pretty. I think that's it for the Morelands, my friends. I am shocked that we got out of there without a boss fight. Whoa. Cool. So now we have the Stonemason's Outpost. Doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can go. This way is blocked, so we can't go through there. All right, let's do it. Stonemason's Outpost. Oh my, they're so cute. Oh my god, they remind me of, of the Remesians and, and whatnot from Final Fantasy IX. The Elder hasn't returned! Uh, Malcolm will kill us all! Run! Where are you going? Hi. Who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course! They're solstice warriors. Garl! It's true, no? We should help if we can. Uh, what's the matter? It's Malcomood, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine's wind tunnels. It's our job, it is, to keep them uninstructed so that the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. <sighs> but now Malcomood has taken over the mine, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it will be the end of the world! What's more, he clogged the tunnel powering the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk to ask for help. If this continues, Malcomood's minions will start pouring out of the mines and, 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 and... It's okay, we're here to help, but what happened next? The, the elder went in to try and stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? just up there at the top of the outpost, but Malcolmood is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck, thank you. Everyone, stop panicking. Oh my God, that's so cute. Solstice warriors are here to solve everything. The elder will return. Malcolmood won't kill us all. Yeah! Oh my, look at us being heroes already. I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots for me to learn here. By Teeks. Teeks is like, okay, you have a journey to go. I'll just hang out. Stone Mason's Outpost. And this is the lift, and we can't use it because of the the wind being blocked by Mal Malcomood. You going swimming? Her name is Chi. The water bill stopped functioning after Malcomood clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go to the mines to help? Uh, yeah, you want to, you want to take a bath? I'm with you. I, I love baths. So much to learn here. All right, Teeks, you freak. See what's up here? Do you have any loot I can steal from you all? Just out of curiosity. Can't go in there. Where did the, where did the mole, oh, you're going this way? You look like an angry mole. Are you an angry mole? 
I can't sleep since Malcolm Moon took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. All right. Since the Elder Winnie on the elevator hasn't returned, I suppose Wooden would have to just jump in. Okay. Do you have loot for me? That is that is the that is the question. I need loot. This whole Malcomoot business is so annoying. I just want to get back to work. Why is everyone angry at Malcomoot? I don't get it. You Okay. Kid got to go back to school, dude. Are you a shop? Oh, you're an innkeeper. Would I like to rest in our geothermal room? Heck yeah. Well, this is cool. Fighting the evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. <laughs> Malcomood's clogging the mine's wind tunnels. We have to do something before the sleeper wakes up. Oh, that's the campfire for us. Okay. I didn't think we'd go around trying to save a small town, but here we are. I mean, we are the heroes of legend. The heroes of the world. Can we, if we try to leave, okay. So we do have to just rest. Want to point out that we still do not have a weapon for our girl, Valir. Hey, thanks for letting us stay in the inn. Appreciate it. All right. Why don't we uh, see where else we can go? An expertly crafted table. Okay, cool. Oh, and we can't, because of the wind, can't open stuff. Because look at, there's treasure. There be treasure up there. Oh, the irony. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door. But they're in the back room. I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to work fine, though. Only there was another way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Why, thank you. Okay. Looks like we can maybe find another way up there. Surely that's got to be upstairs. Oh, look at the little mole kids. Are you really solstice warriors? That's so cool. Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous. I don't know why I gave this family in particular that I, I don't know. But how do you voice moles? I don't know. Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Grown-ups are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. Ah, we have to jump into that. I can do that. All right, let's do that first then. Because I saw a uh, two treasure chest up there. But yeah! Oh, cool. More mushrooms. I love how every time we break through the ground. These are moles, by the way. They didn't know how to do that. Uh, we could get we could get shrooms. And these, like the crystal that's in the mountain. Ooh, we got to shimmy out. Ah, yeah. I knew we could get over here. Oh, this is, oh, this is, okay. I was like, oh, is this two level? No, it's one. We get a teal amber ore and a shiny pearl. And then we can flip this switch for this guy. There you go, bud. And that's the way, so you can, okay, cool. Nice. I was hoping that Valir's weapon was gonna be here. Surely there's gonna be one soon. Hey, good job, kid. Were my chest okay? <laughs> Just kidding. It's the least I could offer as payment. Thanks for the help. <laughs> or my chest, okay? Oh, okay. So that would have been so funny if he got mad at us. Like, hey, don't don't steal my shift. Should I go in this one? Yeah. This is like our first little town. Oh, you're totally a merchant. Hot. Yes. Heading out. Have a look at my equipment. A phone. Ah, uh, teal amber staff for her. I I just feel like we'll be able to find one. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna buy one because I think we'll be able to find one. I'm unsure why they offer an abacus here for us. So we don't necess. Oh whoa! Ensures double hits on regular attacks. Okay. Chance of automatically timing blocks. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. Oh, interesting. Decreases damage taken. I these relics are weird, because I feel like I feel like they are. Somebody was mentioning this in one of the premieres. Uh that they it almost feels like some of these are like good to have in an RPG, and others of them kind of feel like they just 
their accessibility ways of making the game easier, like ensures double hits on regular attacks. I wouldn't want that because that means you're not worrying about the timing. Chance of automatically timing attacks. I don't want that one either because it, it takes away, it makes it automatic, right? It's a chance, but like still it makes it automatic. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting could be cool. And then Guardian Aura just literally reduces, uh, decreases damage taken. Um, that's so weird. I think we're not going to pick up any, we're not going to buy anything just yet. We do have our shiny pearls and stuff that we can sell. So we can sell those. And we'll come back. We'll come back for those. All right, let's go in here. Okay, this is a cool room. Looks like there's something we can do with that over there. If this sculpture represents something, it's probably something abstract. Is that a sculpture? I don't think that's a sculpture, but... Okay, we can't interact with that, I guess. We can't go out that way. Huh. It looks like we need to do something to spin this, but we don't have we don't have anything that would allow us to do that. Oh, in the demo. Ah, interesting. I won't say anything because spoiler, but they give it to you in the demo, I guess, earlier than you can get it now. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can explore anywhere else here. That's the merchant. You can tell because it has a thing on the door. Hello. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he does is paint all day. Oh, that's cool. An artiste. I want one of these people to join our team, though. Like, I want a mole. I want a mole man as a friend. Is this a studio? Oh, it is. Look at you. Oh, and okay, so something with those. I'm wondering if it, that lady joins us then. This will be my best work ever. I like it so far. It looks great. This device looks like a pump of sorts. Hmm. Interesting. There's another rainbow conch there, so that's at least two that we've seen that are behind those those gem crystal things. And then, did we go in here? Nope, we sure did not. If the tunnels keep getting clogged, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. If the sleeper wakes up, we are doomed. Doomed! And we get a ancient molekin cloak. What is that? Teeks might get a story from this. Oh! Teeks, where are you? I wonder if we can give that to her now or if that's like a thing. Let's check. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. Oh, that is so cool. New story unlocked, the great summoning. So much to learn. That was cool. All right, back up. Let's go back up here. This person's got a little baby on their back. Are you the solstice warriors? I really hope you can defeat Malcolmud. Careful in the mines. Apparently, something, someone uh, spotted a monstrous salamander. Okay. Some tools used for mining. Well, folks, looks like we're gonna go deal with that in the mines. Let's do it. The wind tunnel mines. Security rules reminder: no jumping down. Um. Okay, can I, can I do that? Can I do that anyways? I broke the rule. You're a, you're not a mole. Are you the elder? I am, and you are? Solstice warriors? Uh, we're here to confront Malcomud. My, how wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Um, uh, not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going in to fix the problem. 
Uh, so now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Uh... Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolm Oates is one mighty wizard. Uh, you coward. The elevator will not work until the first windmill is reactivated. One of Malcolm Oates' minions must be clogging its wind tunnel. Okay. That's neat. What is this one? Remi no jumping down. Ooh, looks like we'll have to raise it so that we can jump down. Mine's break room. There's a save point here as well. Might end up being a longer episode here, but that's okay. Looks like we can jump down. Mm, okay. Can we just push this or do we need something to do that with? What is this? Miner's break room. Let's check the break room first. What are you doing down here, dude? You're a merchant? Well, that's goof. That's goof true. All right. Just a little uh, way for us to do the dungeon, I guess. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll continue on and see what we can do here. Oh, we got more ants, y'all. More ants. Oh, what are you? What are you? You're new. Ant bruiser and drill bats. Hmm. Oh, vulnerable to slashing at least. Still doing a lot of damage, huh? Ow. Whoa, okay. Looks like you actually have to block all three of those. Okay, they're just weak to physical hits from us, which is great. And let's go ahead and finish this one off. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna finish it off. All right, well, girl. Lelir, it's time for you to Moonerang. Oops. Well, we are still able to take it down. Looks like the drill bats do resist magic, which is not the greatest thing. Go ahead and flip this switch. That doesn't do any. Oh, it does. It releases that. Okay. Let's see if there's anything up here, though. There's a basket so we can get some food. Three eggs. All right. Those are mole eggs. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Continue up here. Can we go? Not that way yet. Surely we will be able to. Jump on this. Lower it down. Opens a door for us. There we go. And then we'll need to flip this switch to bring this back up. Then we can crawl through here. Nice. Oh, that's weird. See, the, because of the perspective, it looked like that was... Okay. You know what I mean. This is so cool looking, though. Oh, look at the... Oh, that's neat. Check if there's anything up here first, which there are. There's shrooms and a shovel. In case you need, a, in case you need that. I really love these crystal things. I like that you can like appear through them. They're translucent. All right, come on. This has got to be Valir's weapon, right? A green leaf. That is not her weapon, but I will take an accessory. Max HP plus 15. Who's got the lowest HP? Yeah, Dale does. So let's give it to him. Now he's got the highest. See, this is what I mean. Like I didn't want to. I don't want to put points in our when we level up into health because I feel like accessories and armor and all that is going to kind of do that for us. There are more enemies here that we can deal with. Just the two of them. Let's go ahead and see if we can start breaking this. Perfect. And then Valir can... Yeah, get out of here, bat. There we go. Got the timing on that heel right, too. All right. Should be able to take this out fairly easily. Just normal attacks. Remember, the the ant bruisers are weak to magic attacks, and the drill dudes appear to be weak to physical attacks. So uh, you kind of want to, you know, figure that out as you go. Prioritize who you're attacking with what. We'll be able to jump around here. Oh my gosh, my bad. My bad. No one saw that. Close your eyes. You didn't see that. 
one like for every time I do that, okay? <laughs> you owe me a lot of likes, there, dear viewers. Come on. Ah, I'm still waiting on Valir's weapon. I just, I have a feeling they'll give us her weapon without having to buy it. Can't do anything with that yet, but there is a basket here that we can grab three dairy. I love how they just call it dairy. It's like, we don't want to tell you what type of, what type of milk that is. You don't want to, trust, you don't want to know. Looks like another puzzle room here, but stuff that we can't actually move. So this is an area that we'll have to come to again later. I feel like we're about to get another upgrade soon, or uh, like a traversal ability of some kind. If you played the demo, you know what I'm talking about. But just in case we don't get to it in this episode, I don't want to spoil it. No spoilers. We got more bats down here. I think everyone is fairly healthy. Okay, that is a lot of breaking here that we need. Oh, there's oh, there's another enemy in the back there. A bush, a bush tree. Yikes. All right. So what we're gonna do here then is um. Jeez. We're gonna we're gonna sunball. Yes. That only breaks one of the locks there. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll moonerang here as well. Just to lower that and hopefully be able to do some damage. Oh, that one, that's actually, oh man. Stalag bites. Ouch. Okay, so those are dangerous. I'm a little worried about the other dudes. Okay, we got one block on that. I'm a little worried about that other dude, the bushwhacker guy in the back. I'm a little worried about his stuff. Let's see what he does. Teal drop. Okay, so they both, they all do AoE. That is, oof, that is dangerous. Okay, let's get rid of this one first then. I like that you have to block all three of those. I know that is, you know, irrelevant in a way, but uh, you know what I think we're gonna do, just to see it, we're gonna boost here. And we're going to do Solar Rain for the first time. Hold X for power. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. It is very um, Iron Man and uh, uh, Captain America. When Captain America holds his shield and Iron Man shoots the beam into it and it splatters and it hits. You know what I'm talking about, nerd. Super cool. And it doesn't use MP, which is a good thing. Uh, he's only got four health, so we'll just whack him. Nice. 216 XP. I think we're going to get a level up here no matter what. Looks like that is one of the minions that was stopping the wind there. Because now the wind, it be flowing. Interesting. Woo, look here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I got it, Elder Elder Mo, uh, Mole. Oh, you brought power back. I suppose I'll be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malcomode. All right, bye. We don't have, we still don't have the stuff we need. So uh, let's at least go and recover some health. Can I just say, every time we rest, the song that plays reminds me of fun ways to die. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Listen, you ready? Fun ways to die. No? Is it fun ways to die? I don't know. Now, again, I still don't want to buy the the staff for Valir because I just I feel like we're going to get one. Um... And those relics are so weird. I wonder if there's like a limited amount of relics in the game and that's why, that's why those are there. You know, completion says, 
Oh, you actually can't buy them all here. So we actually will just buy... We'll buy those relics so that we at least have them in our... It's just so weird because you can, you can like... I can turn on all of these if I wanted. For those who prefer a lighter challenge, reduces damage taken by 30%. Yeah, see, I just don't want to use that. Regular attacks time themselves automatically. It guarantees extra hits for lock breaking, but reduces bonus damage from timing the hit by... Yeah, see, I... I like that that one at least has like a, I don't, I wouldn't want that. So there you go. Those are what the relics do. I, for this one, I, that to me is like each max HP plus hundred percent in auto heal after combat feels goofy. Uh, I mean, obviously do what you want. Like it's your game, but uh, for, for us here, we're not going to do that. I like this one just so we can, we can uh, tell if we got it right. And let's go ahead and save here as well. And, my friends, that will be it for today's episode of Sea of Stars. Right here on Missile.ly. What's up, there? Uh, I sincerely appreciate y'all hanging out. Let me know what you are thinking of this game so far, of the series so far, in the comments below. Comments and likes sincerely help this, this video uh, series. Shares, all of that stuff. The more engagement it gives, gets, the longer you watch my uh, these videos, the more YouTube will push it to other people. So if you are enjoying it, please, please let me know know and keep on watching because it really does help and then it just motivates me to get these videos out as soon as possible for you all so thank you so much uh in the next episode we are going to tackle the rest of the mines here in uh in this mole area finish this dungeon take on malcomode i'm sure and maybe even make our way to our first town of brisk thank you so much for watching and remember never give up never surrender to mole people enemies nailed it <laughs>